Thank you for watching So Cheeky's tutorial on how to make a pre-fold into a fitted diaper. I've gone ahead and cut out the template already and the um, piece from the, the pre-fold itself. The template is about 3 inches wide and about 16 inches long with a curved top so that you can make the arms of your pre-fold. Like I said, I already cut that piece out so you can um, move forward. just so that I have, make sure I have enough and then it lasts a little bit longer for my little girl. And then you're supposed to round the tabs themselves. So what I would do would be to fold over and then mark your roundness there and then cut it through. See those are a little bit ex um, a little bit wide in comparison to the tabs that you've already cut. So what I would do um, is actually just use them as is, and then I'm going to be surging this. Well, I would use them as is if you were going to be surging it. If you're not going to be surging, then I would trim off this excess because um, the beauty of a serger is that it you know cuts off that extra. Will be you'll be able to cut off that extra amount for you know when you're doing that. Now with the soaker here, I'm going to go ahead and make that curve as well here. So we have a nice round lay-in soaker. So the next step is to actually connect the two tabs, uh, tab extensions on the diaper. Uh, so you divide those tabs into two and then place one on the top and the other on the other side and you stitch across there and what that does is it actually encases all of your seam allowance in there so you have no exposed raw edges at all. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You separate it out evenly so that's one thing I would watch as, as you're doing it is to make sure that when you're cutting this out that you really make sure that you're going to have enough room to add your elastic. See how it's so narrow on this side? So really make sure you've got it separated. I think I might even go in here and I'm going to open it up even more. Rip out this, um, this seam so that I have a little bit more space. I've already gone ahead and done the top. Um, kind of breaking out the, the stitches here so that I could go a little bit wider across the top. And I also ended up doing the same thing on um, the edge, the one edge as well, because I just, when I cut out the pattern, I wasn't um, careful enough to make sure that I would have enough space to put the elastic in and serge the edging. So I've uh, ripped out that seam as well. I'm also going to go a little bit further into the arm of the prefold that, of it, uh, of the fitted itself um, just so that I have um, a little bit more to uh, a little bit more elastic in there to keep pooping on the pattern I, I just think it's too far down I think you're gonna have a lot of leaking with that so I'm, I'm making a change just to let you know alright so with the elastine I've gone ahead and set up my machine for a three-step zigzag I've um, set my auto foot lift to turn that off and then I've also decreased the pressure from my pressure foot on there as well so that um, it doesn't catch on the elastine and then I've also set my needle to be down when I'm done stitching so that I can um, keep adjusting my elastic as we go so I'm gonna go ahead and um, set my elastine about, um, about a quarter of an inch in from the edge so that I have plenty of room to surge. I'm reinforcing the one end. Going a couple stitches, making sure my needle is down, and then you pull the, elast the elastine and then let off a little bit. 
and stitch. And with lasting, don't feel like you need to, you know, sew the entire length all in one fail swoop. In the picture it looks like it comes about four inches in so I'm gonna uh, four inches from the top of the diaper to stop the elastic from a couple stitches and then I'm gonna go a couple without the uh, pressure on the elastic and then reinforce all right uh, we've got all the elastic in so now I'm gonna go ahead and make a um, make the lay-in um, soaker portion of this as well so um, using the extra material so I've gone ahead and opened up the one side already and basically you just find the middle open it up on this side too and then lay them on top of each other and then I'm going to go ahead and serge all the edges um, and I'll probably trim off a little excess on this too since this seems pretty um, narrow and I want it to be able to to fit inside there nicely so um, here's all the elastic in so you can see what it looks like. It's all ready to go. Um, so what we'll do is I'll serge from one end, go all the way around, and end up at the other end of it. Um, and we'll be all set. All right, we're going to go ahead and start serging the diaper together. Basically, you start at the top part. Make sure you get your edges all lined up. I've got my cutter on as well so everything is nice and smooth in the end as well. And I'd probably go because you can hear this material is thick so it's going to take a little bit of strength on your serger's part to get through it all. You could also do a zigzag using a regular machine. Then I would go ahead and stitch all the way around as well just to reinforce that zigzag. Now the key to making these curves work is to actually keep your, just watch the fabric going into the knife and just take it slow. Just as you go to with your foot. All right, everything's all surged and trimmed. Um, the soaker is uh, the doubler as well from that extra remaining fabric. Um, I think it turned out pretty decent. Um, it seems a little narrow to me. We'll see tomorrow when I can um, actually fit it on Ella, see how it works with her. Um, I'm not going to add any kind of fasteners because I use snappies with all of my prefolds, um, but you could definitely easily add Velcro um, on the arms itself and across the top. Um, but my feeling um, with anything with prefolds is that when you do that, you limit its um, size of, or flexibility as far as sizing is concerned. Um, if you add snaps, that would probably be the most flexible way to, to go ahead and add fasteners on there. Um, with, But that's extra work too. Um, and uh, you can get the same kind of, you know, adjustability just by, you know, using a snappy. So, um, but that, there we go. Prefold turned into a fitted diaper um, with a lay-in doubler so we're using all of our pieces here and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial itself um, we'll come back and do a review and a, and a final um, fitting with Ella tomorrow and uh, be sure to visit So Cheeky's um, blog in the future <laughs>